Born Wonders, a team who has seen it all. With some of the likes of JJ Kocha, Kevin Davies, Kevin Nolan and Nicholas Anelka have worn the shirt. Bolton were first promoted to the Premier League in 2001, which then they spent 11 consecutive seasons in the Premier League, which included a 2004 League Cup final appearance, and they also reached the knockout stages of the UEFA Cup twice. Turn over to 2016 and Bolton find themselves in League One, but that wasn't the worst part. In May of 2019, after several financial difficulties, Bolton entered administration. Today, they sit second in the League One table, and in today's video, we're going to try and rebuild Bolton back to the Premier League. And maybe we'll even try and get into the UEFA knockout stages, i.e. the Champions League. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts, and any other rebuild suggestions, and subscribe if you're new around here. Let's get into this Bolton rebuild and see how we get on. Right then, guys, as you can see on the screen, we have the first starting 11 for Bolton Wanderers. Obviously, I haven't made any signings just yet, but looking at the team, I think we need to bring in a few players to try and improve this Bolton side in the first season in League One. Obviously, I'm probably going to look at the free agents and the low knees compared to actually buying players and do it that way and set up the youth system so we can bring in youth players. So I'm going to probably look at getting maybe a new centre-back. I need to get a left-back because, as you can see, it's just a centre-back playing there at the moment. Uh, I could probably do with a cam because it's only a centre-mid, again, playing there just because no one else can actually play there. So I'm actually all right with the striker. And I think that will do. A couple of loanies, a couple of free agents. We're going to go straight into some transfers and see who we can buy. Right, guys, that is the end of the first transfer window of this rebuild. And Bolton have brought, brought in a few free agents. Guerta, 22 years old, left winger. Quineros, 26 centre forwards. Abdul Razag, right mids, 24 years old. We've also sold Dempsey for 1.1 million to Stoke. I mean, he's 27. He wasn't actually in my starting 11. So I thought, why not just sell him? Because he's never going to play for us. So I'll take the 1.1 million. And we loaned out one of the youth players. So that is the transfer business. Not too much. Obviously, didn't have much money to use. So went in for a couple of free agents and um, also sold someone. So we're going to jump straight into this first season. I am going to simulate it to the end of the season. And then we'll see where we end up. So... Fingers crossed we can get promotion in the first season. Let's see how we get on. Right then, guys. We are here at the last game of the season. Let's see how we got on. We're going to go over to the squad. They're the ratings for now. Standings. And we won the league with 99 points. We've absolutely smashed League One. Very happy with that. Now we're going to change competition and check the FA Cup and see where we finished. I'm not too sure where we would have finished oh wow we, we went out in round five to forest one nil which is not too too bad happy days so that is the fa cup what about the carabao cup if we went anywhere in there we went to okay not anywhere close by the looks of it who did we get knocked out by i can't actually see bolton oh well we got well we won in the first oh, hold on one in the first round Second round. Oh, we lost 4-1 to Portsmouth. Okay, that's quite understandable. EFL Trophy. Where did we come in this one? We got knocked out by Peterborough in the quarterfinals. So, trophies-wise, nothing, but we won the league. And we're going to go check the player stats after we finish this last game of the season. We're going to quick sim this game against Stevenage. And it's 0-0, which I don't mind because we won, we won the, I think we should end on 100 points, I think we did. We'll just let this game load. And we'll go look at the standings quickly. 100 points for Bolton. They've absolutely smashed League One. 46 games, 30 wins, 10 draws and 6 losses. What we're going to do now is go look at the player stats and see who got the most goals, who got the most assists. So let's go have a look at the goals. First and off, oh my god. We're now lost 55 games, 39 goals, 15 assists. That's actually amazing. I mean, he's probably too good for League One. I'm, I'm probably going to go sell him in the next season so we can get some funds. Charles, 18 goals. Huerta, 14 goals. Morley, 13 from centre mid, which is quite impressive. Who got the most assists then? Was it? Oh, wow. Of course it was him. So that is going to be the end of season one. We're heading to the championship. Right then, guys, before we quickly jump into the second season and the championship as you can see on the screen we finished first in league one 
round of five for the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, second round, quarterfinals for the EFL Trophy. And obviously the preseason tournament we don't care about. So we're going to end the season there. Let's jump straight into the championship and season two. Right then, guys, the start of the second season and the first season in the championship. We have made a lot of transfers and we've sold. I think we've sold more players. So I'm just going to scroll through. These are some of the players that I've sold. Um, we got him for free in the first season. We sold him for £30 million. I couldn't say no to that because then it, it has really, really helped us sign a load of players. So even though he was unreal and our best player last season, I mean, £30 million when I spent zero is is easy so we took the money a lot of these players a couple of million or less uh first signing Andre Santos from Chelsea for 5.6 million he goes straight into the center mid slot Poku we signed him from Ibar 4.8 million he's only 20 years old he'll go straight into the right wing spot as well a lot of these players will just go straight into the starting 11 uh Belkin, 4 million I think that's a steal for a youngster uh, King, another one from Betis. I think he moved in the first season to Real Betis. I think he's normally <clears throat> in the Scottish League. 4.5 million for him. Joao Pedro is probably the biggest one that we did make. 22 years old from Brighton. 16.750 million for Joao Pedro. He goes straight up top for us and probably the biggest signing we've made so far in this save. And then <clears throat> Fafana from Bujangar Black. Four million pounds. He's going to go in our centre attack and mid roll, and then I will now show you the squad that we do have. So keeper stays the same. Baxter, uh, the right back, uh, stays the same. Uh, King will go into the centre back role with Santos, the captain, who stays. Left back, obviously, the new signing. Morley, he stays in the squad. Santos, new signing, and then the front three of Poku, Fafana, Pedro, Pedro, all new signings, all go straight in the team, and Huerta stays for us so that is the squad now the squad itself as a whole isn't that big but i'm relying on the the starting 11 to do bits for us and hopefully we can get a playoff place so i'm going to simulate to the end of the season and we'll see where we end up right then guys we are at the end of the season in season two where did we finish in the table we're ninth with last game to play so we can only finish seventh we have QPR to play. I don't know where QPR are in the league, the 20th. We're not... Oh, we are so close to the playoff places. We'll be a point off. So, 45 games, 17 wins, 19 draws has absolutely killed us. And 9 losses. So, we're going to go simulate the last game of the season. And then we'll jump into season 3. And hopefully that can be the season where we go into the Premier League. So, simulate this and we'll see... 2-0 win, so we, I don't know if that puts us... Where did Preston, Preston lost? I think we finished 7th. We were a point or just about off. Oh, we were... Okay, Swansea won, so it actually doesn't feel that bad. Just but just uh, outside of the playoff places, which is kind of annoying, but we go to the squad hub, we'll go to the stats, and we'll look at the player stats for this season. It's Joao Pedro, top goal scorer. Uh, Huerta, again, improving... Each season now other two poku with 11 goals which is nice to see so unfortunately we didn't quite get there but it's a good start because they asked us to finish mid table so it's not too bad so what i'm going to do i'm going to simulate to the end of the season now and then we'll look at the cups and stuff uh so i'll be right back right then guys as you can see we got knocked out the first round of the Carabao cup third round for the fa cup we finished seventh in the league which is not too bad for the Bolton. I mean, we're just short of the playoffs. I think if we make a couple more signings next season. I think we'll just be there. So this is going to be the end of season two. We're going to jump straight into season three right now. Right then, guys, season three summer window has ended and we've made some big decisions for Bolton. A couple of um, this right wing back. He didn't actually play for me, uh, Matheson, so I just sold him. Uh, Usun was the first signing we made for 5.5 million. I just wanted to have that backup sort of center, center attack of Miz, uh, someone on the bench because the bench really hadn't really been helping us the past two seasons. So, Joao Pedro was one of the players I did sell 54 million. I signed him for 15 million, so I took the profit because we didn't really get given much money at the start of the season, so I kind of had to rely on selling someone. So, even though Joao Pedro is really good, I sold him. And we brought in Boniface, 
for 43 million up front for Bolton Wanderers in the championship. You couldn't really write it. Uh, and then we brought in Archie Gray from Napoli, who's 19. Goes straight into the centre mid role with Santos. Uh, Sabi, right back from West Ham. I think he, he wasn't actually at West Ham in the first season, but obviously we're season three now. Four and a half million. Stevens, this young centre back, he's actually 68 rated for 19. He actually looks pretty good. I just signed him because I was just completing one of the objectives uh, to sign two English players, so him and Gray. And then Charles left uh, to Ghent for 1.4 million. So, season three, I'm going to quickly show you the team that we're going to be rocking with for the season. Obviously, ignore the stamina and stuff now because we've played a few games. Backswing goal, Sabi right back, King, Santos, uh, Belican at left back, Archie Gray, Santos. Quetta, Fafana, Poku, and Boniface. The bench, obviously a couple of players. We don't really have much depth. It's just really youth players. But hopefully if we can try and get into the playoff places this season and try, maybe have a cup run as well. Who knows? But anyway, we're going to simulate to the end of the season and see how we get on. Right then, guys, as you can see, we have made it to the playoffs. Now, I, do, I, I think we finished in the last place. I do believe because Watford were quite ahead of us. Um, so it's Bolton, Watford, Burnley, Middlesbrough. I just want to see the actual championship where we finish because we finished sixth. Okay. Okay. So wow, Watford dropped off a little bit. Luton and Leeds go up. We just about got playoffs. I mean, oh, again, 18 draws has kind of messed us up here. So. We did make it through. What about the Carroll Cup? Did we go anywhere? Let's see. Oh, that's the FA Cup. Semi-final? No, no. I don't think we went anywhere. I'm going to say ignore that. We'll see that at the end of the season. So, we do have Watford in the playoffs. First game. Oh, wow. A lot of our players are not fit enough to play. That is frustrating. Um, Wow. That is very, very frustrating. Uh, I'm just going to play most of them I mean, Archie Gray probably has to come off as well I'll probably go with that and we'll quick sim this one a nil nil wow nil nil going into the the second leg is kind of a bit stressful so we are going to advance oh wow straight away why is there no wow I don't know why there's no like um reject that why is there no pause in between the um thing Anyway, I'm going to quickly change the team round and I will be right back. Right then, guys. I mean, I've had to rotate the team quite heavily. And even then, the players are not fit enough. I don't know why there's only like a two game break between the playoffs. Like normally it's a week break. You play on a Tuesday, then you play on the Wednesday, the following week. I'm going to simulate this. I'm going to jump in if we are struggling in this game, because I feel like we need to get out of the championship this season. If we're going to make any progress in this video and the rebuild and we, we've been close the first time we were unlucky and bang it's 1-0 Archie Gray scores the goal for Bolton and it's a great start in this second leg that puts us through to Wembley as it stands so hopefully we are able to get there so Watford now on the attack I mean their players are also not fully fit so I mean what can you do I just don't know why they haven't set that to like a week break in between so players can get fit and Watford have scored make it 1-1 in the 21st minute Bio has scored the goal now on the attack here come Bolton down the left cut inside oh it's blocked saved by the keeper that for a corner now whipped in oh it's not a good delivery first man and we've given the ball straight back to Watford approaching the Half time stage. Watford out wide. I've got a lot of men over here. Squares it. No, he doesn't. I thought he was going to cross it. That's good defending there. Now we can counter attack ourselves. Better right inside. Oh, it's a poor pass. Nearly half time. I don't want to concede now. It would be the worst time to concede. Ball played in. Back. That's out wide. Oh, we've got a lot of space here. Can he cross it? Oh. Go on square it do you have to square that you have why did he not square that it's 1-1 one, one. second half now i really don't know why he didn't square that because 
think we would have scored. Well, I mean, it would have been an open goal. So, not much happening in this game. Apart from the two goals early on in the first half, second half has not had much to offer. But we've still got plenty of time. Here come Bolton now. Squares it. Squares it again. I don't know why he passed it back. I mean, but it's worked. Shot and the rebound. Jacobson. Oh, like, I think he's like, oh, one of our youth players from the first season has scored the goal. I can't believe it. What I'm going to do, though, is actually pause and take off Quetta because he is ruined. The Farnes, I mean, is not as much either. I'm going to bring on him as well. I mean, oh, do I just keep it? I'm just going to keep it like that. A couple of subs because our team is absolutely knackered. So, the massive goal in the playoff second leg. Hopefully, we can carry on and see this out and get ourselves to Wembley for the playoff final. I might actually play the playoff final, to be honest with you guys. And hopefully, we can then get to the Premier League. That is a nice ball. Nice touch. Can he get it round him? No. Unlucky there. Here come Watford now. Watford. Oh, it's out for a corner. Short one. It's pulled back. It's in the box. No one's marking him. Oh, what a save from the keeper. The keeper's done excellently there. The keeper us in the lead. And Watford. Oh, keeper again. I'm going to do another sub. Santos on. Bring you on and bring you on as well. And I think that's it. Hopefully. That is enough now. 87th minute now. We've got a counter attack here. Just run it down the line. Just keep running. Keep running. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, it's game over. Santos has just come on. And Bolton are going through to the playoff final. That is an amazing counter attack. Love to see it. 3-1 on aggregate, 3-1 to Bolton. We're going to go straight into the playoff final and we'll find out who we're playing against. Right then, guys. Middlesbrough is the playoff final. This is going to be the team that we're going to be using. We're going to simulate the game again. If I need to, I might just have to jump in because I'd love to get promoted to the Premier League. Even though I think we may struggle in the Premier League next season, even though we've got a few good players in the squad. However, I think the overall squad depth is not good enough. But hopefully Bolton can somehow give us a load of money. That would be really helpful. But we'll see how we get on in this game. Hopefully we can keep it a tight game and stay in the game. And then hopefully I don't need to jump in. But Middlesbrough has scored in the first 12 minutes. It's not what you want to see in a playoff final at Wembley. Hopefully we can uh, respond with a goal. But we're giving the ball away twice there. In the middle of the park. It's not really what you want. But oh, I thought Bonnie Face was going to get on the end of that. Here come Middlesbrough again down the left hand side. Good defending from Bolton. I don't know where. Oh wow. I thought he was going to give the ball away then. We have given it away though. Inside. Here come Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough down the right. Can we clear it? They've still got the ball. Oh, it's saved by the keeper. That's a good save. Good save from Baxter. Ball played in now. Surely we haven't even had a shot yet in this game. Shocking. I don't think we haven't even had the ball in their half. I don't think for the first 45 minutes. Or well, first 40 minutes. Here we go. Now, oh my God, what is that? What are we doing? Seriously, we we haven't had the ball in their final third once this game. And here come Middlesbrough once again. It's all Middlesbrough this game. It's quite worrying to be honest. No, all played across, and it's wide, and that's half time. I mean, look at the stats. Zero shots, zero chances. Middlesbrough all over us. We're going to resume. I might have to jump in in like the 65th, 70th minute if it's still like this, because we're getting absolutely battered right now. And here come Middlesbrough. Oh, it's good defending to get the ball back. But what is going on with this Bolton team? We're just not in it at the moment. Second half, we really need to step it up. I don't know what is going on, but... I mean, oh, oh, wow. Middlesbrough again. Got the ball. It could be 2-0 here. Oh, no. Squared. Oh, it's good defending, but... What are we doing here? Oh, my God. We're getting the ball away again. Middlesbrough. It's out for a corner. 
We're going to have to jump in after this corner, I think, because we are struggling big time here. One last chance before I jump in. And Middlesbrough. Oh, my God. What is going on? Squared across. It's in. And it's over by the keeper. Corner kick for Middlesbrough. They are absolutely dominating us right now. And I'm going to jump in now. I'm going to highlight any highlights I get. I will show you guys. So hopefully I can grab us a goal. Okri now slides the ball through to Fafana. It's Fafana. Fafana's going all the way. Fafana. He has to score. Fafana. He gets the goal. 78th minute is 1-1. What a time to get the goal. I was really worried that we weren't going to do anything in this game. Fafana gets the goal. He smashes it into the top corner. And it's now 1-1 in the playoff final. Here comes Fafana on the left-hand side. I've pushed him out to the left and brought on someone else. Oh, my God. He's got all the time and the space. Fafana, what he faces with him to support. Doesn't need him. He doesn't need him. It's Fafana. He scored again. Oh, my God. Fafana has scored to make it 2-1 to Bolton. Oh my god, Fafana has absolutely stolen the show in the second half. What an absolute run that was. And he's I thought I put it too far to the byline. I didn't need the extra touch, but the keeper's dived. And Fafana has grabbed. And I think a smashing grab for Bolton to get promoted to the Premier League. It's 2-1. Bonnie face into Santos. Back to Bonnie face. It's a lovely play from him. Out wide to Fafana. Gonna cut inside. Boniface. Oh, I can't quite get the ball. Oh, no. Boniface is giving it away. Here come Middlesbrough now. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a lovely bit of defending. Three added minutes until Bolton are back in the Premier League. Surely. Oh, he's still got time. Boniface. Oh, he doesn't get there. Surely the ref's going to blow the whistle. Seconds remain. Fafana. Oh, it's not finished just yet. And it's finished. Bolton Wanderers are back in the Premier League. Fafana has stolen the playoff final and got Bolton promoted to the Premier League. Could you believe it? I honestly thought we were down and out. Half time, we hadn't even had a shot yet. And the second half, we took over and we had to. Otherwise, I don't think we would have won that game. Middlesbrough were dominating us. Had to jump in and take over, and Bolton are now back in the Premier League. I'm going to watch the celebrations and lift the trophy. Um, without simul oh, I skipped it too far. Anyway, that is going to be an amazing achievement for Bolton, who are back all the way from League One to the Championship for two seasons, and now they are in the Premier League. So, I'm going to simulate to the end of. The season and show you where we finished in terms of like table and cups and player stats so i will be right back all right then guys as you can see we finished sixth in the championship third in the fa cup second in the carabao cup and we won the playoffs so we're now in the premier league and hopefully from there we can get back into maybe a title charge but that might take a couple more seasons but anyway we're going to jump straight into the transfers and all that stuff so i will be right back right then guys as you can see it is that time again transfer deadline day has finished for the summer in the first season of the premier league we've sold a couple of players that just never played for us Fafana, who asked to leave the club he apparently wasn't getting game time even though i started him and then when i simulated he obviously just got taken out the team sold him for 24 million so i think we bought him for like six million so profit there aronson we brought in but we added Archie Gray because he also wanted to leave. So I guess when I simulate it, they don't start and they don't play. So a bit frustrating, but Aronson comes in. Harvey Ellett comes in, £38 million plus uh, Uzon. Again, another player that was my starting cam, didn't play, and then he asked to leave. So all three of them that I sold asked to leave. So we brought these three guys in, uh, sold a couple of players. Nene is a striker backup, literally just needed... Um, the players kind of because we we're kind of running out of like half decent players so he came in uh to uh todd ibo 50 million pounds i mean it's a big money move but i needed a new center back uh we signed nicholas jackson from chelsea for 54 million because we sold bonnie face for 96 million so 
we're making a lot of profit from these players, which allows us to buy like players like Jackson and uh, Todd Debo as well. So we've sold a couple of players and then Bastoni came in for free because I just needed a backup centre mid ASAP. So I'm not sure how the season's going to go because our squad, even though we've got a couple of good players, our squad is not really a Premier League proven squad. So I'm hopeful, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're going to simulate the season and we're going to see where we end up. Hopefully not relegated or sacked hopefully so we'll see how we get on right then guys last game of the season in season four first season in the premier league let's see where we are on the table are we gonna get relegated or not we are sat 13th in the table which i will take that for the first season in the premier league now i mean it's it, it's not at least we didn't get relegated eh? i'm happy with that 13th obviously we've got one more game to play Highest we can finish is 12th, so we're going to go simulate that game now. Um, we'll just quick sim it because we, we can't get relegated, so we don't need to worry. A lot of players um, not really that fit enough to play. I'll just rotate everyone because why not? Uh, and then we'll just do that. And then we'll just quick sim. Last game against Brentford, and we lose 2-1. Not ideal, but hey, we didn't get relegated, so let's just double check where we finished. I mean, at least the board are happy. We've finished 13th, which I'll take for the first season in the Prem. Hopefully next season, we can try and climb up the table to maybe one of the Europa League or Conference League playoff uh, spots. So I'm going to end the season now and we're going to jump straight into season five. As you can see on the screen, guys, season five transfer time in the summer. We've signed a lot of players and we've got rid of a few. And I thought last... Uh, summer's window was probably the biggest one i think this has blown it away so we brought in murillo for nine million from atletico madrid uh, a cheap youngster who i thought could come in and do a job andrew i mean he's brazilian 40 million from newcastle in goal because our keeper did leave on a on a free which i should have done he renewed his contract but i didn't uh curtis jones comes in for a, uh, a swap deal with aronson plus eight million which i think is a good deal because aronson wanted to leave I've noticed a lot of times when I'm simulating the season, players that I start the um, save with, they don't actually like play, and that's why they asked to leave. So it's a bit dodgy. Then we brought in Slobosly, who was 85 million, which is a lot of money, but he can replace uh, the center. He can go straight into center attacker mid, and Jones can go center mid with Santos. Harvey Elliott, that's why we just signed Slobosly, because he went to City for 106 million. I mean, that's like nearly like 70 million profit. On Harvey Elliott, so that's why I've sold him. Nunez, 87 million to go up front because we sold Jackson for 88 million. So again, we made a lot of money on Jackson for what we bought him for, but age difference. I mean, okay, there's a there's definitely like five. Uh, no rating wise, sorry, there's like a couple of ratings higher. Nunez, so that's why I did it. That is the transfers. That's a lot of transfers. So hopefully. I mean, we had a good season last season, finished 13th or 12th, I can't remember. But this season, we've signed a good few players. So I want to try and push up the table and try and get into like a an European spot, maybe like a Europa Conference or a Europa League. So fingers crossed, we're going to simulate to the end of the season and hopefully we'll do better than last season. So let's see how we get on. Right, guys, end of season five and the second season in the Premier League. We finish with Leicester away from home but let's see where we ended up in the table where did we end up standings we're eighth right now so we can't go we, we can't finish lower than eighth but we can maybe just about creep into seventh so obviously european spots it only says fifth on here but i don't know because obviously real life europa league and now that conference league if we might be able to have a chance anyway let's finish that game against leicester we're going to simulate it and we'll see how we get on. Oh, wow. We need to change the left back if we can. Do we even have a left back that can play there? I mean, we'll just we'll just do the stony. Why not? And then we're going to quick sim. And hopefully we can win 1-1. One, one. So we finish 8th from the table, which is an improvement. A massive improvement from the last season. So I'm really, really happy with that. So going into next season, I think we'll, we might just be just creeping up to that Europa League kind of uh, spot. Because... Let's look at the table. Finished eighth, which is a decent season. I'll take that. Um, let me just go look at the cups and stuff like that. So, FA Cup, where do we finish? OK, 
Okay. Oh, we lost in the semi-finals to Liverpool in the FA Cup, which is not too bad, but it's a big improvement from last season as well. So let's just go look at the player stats for this season. Uh, let's go over the stats. Goals, top goal scorer, Huerta again. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought Nunes would have been, but he wasn't. Um, a lot of players getting around the same. Assists, slobber slight, obviously. Um, I'm chuffed with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the season there. We're going to jump straight into season six and the third season in the Premier League and see where we can go to. Well, 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 guys, this is insane. I thought last one, the last season's save, like I said that in the previous season, this one has absolutely blown me away. So Botman we bought for 82 million uh, to play alongside, well, well, I kind of spoiled it now. Anyway, Nunes, 143 million to Leverkusen. Hoyland, 129 to Bolton. Simon from City, he's 20 years old and he's like 85, 86 rated. That's why I snapped him up. Um, to go with Botman because we did sell uh, Todibo to Chelsea for 67 million. Bishop went out on loan, but that Hoyland and Nunes deal was crazy. I don't think we haven't had a striker stay at the club for more than one season because they keep I keep making so much money, like I'm making so much profit off them. So um, I'll quickly show you the team for um, the season. So Andrew and goal, Sabi right back. Uh, Botman should be here, but he's not fit enough to play. So Stevens will play there with Simon. Um, Belokian still there. Jones and Santos, Slobosai, Poku, Hirata, and Hoyland up top. I'm I'm tempted to play this young lad instead of Santos because even though Santos' stats are better, he's 19 and Santos is 24 and he's going up the rating. So I'm going to do that for this season and see how high up that kid goes. Anyway, we're going to simulate to the end of the season as we always do. And hopefully we can try and get into like a Europa League spot because this team is crazy. Um, obviously, the centre mids, I could probably do with another big signing next season. But for now, this is the team. Let's see how we get on in season six. Right, guys, end of season six. We've made it all the way to the end of 2029 in the season. Let's see where we finished. Let's go to the standings. And we finished fourth. In a Champions League spot. That is what you want to see. Bolton finishing fourth in the Premier League. 38 games, 17 wins, 12 draws and 9 losses. Two points between us and Newcastle in fifth. What an absolute result that is. So Champions League football for Bolton next season. You can't believe it. Uh, let's just go look at the stats for the season. Uh, let's go goals. Wow, Schlopper, I think Hoyland was injured at one point. Um, so that's why we didn't really have many different goal scorers. But anyway, absolutely buzzing with that. Um, hopefully now we can move on and sign some more players to improve the squad to then go on and win the Premier League and hopefully the Champions League. So we're going to end Season 6 here and move on to Season 7. I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh my god, guys. Well, I just don't know why. Like, I've done all the objectives. I've signed all these players. I've finished fourth in the league. Champions League football. Like, I don't get how I get, get sacked. Is there anyone that can help me with this? Because this is all three of my rebuilds that I've done so far. I've been sacked at the end of the, like, fifth season. Seven, well, this one, the seventh season. But it's so frustrating because I can't do anything. Like, I literally can't. And I've tried saving and unsaving and going back and doing this and doing that. And I just get sacked with Bolton. I, I literally just got Champions League, got one of the best teams in the world in the save, and I get sacked. And I just don't know what to do. Unfortunately, I mean, I've tried for about half an hour to get the save back, and I can't. I keep getting sacked. I have to end the video there, which is frustrating because I was really enjoying this Bolton save. And we we're in our, like, seventh season, about to go in the Champions League, and I just keep getting sacked, and I just don't get it. This game is so broken, and career mode is just... They just don't care. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really enjoyed this save. I mean, we got up to the Premier League and survived twice, finished top four. So the, the objective's complete, but the Champions League run would have been nice to do, but unfortunately, not able to. The Premier League was the main goal, and we survived twice. So I'll happily take this save as a completion, but really frustrating that we couldn't go on to try the Champions League out. Um... So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Please comment if anyone knows how to fix this. 
I am playing on PlayStation, but maybe if I buy it on PC, I can try and manage these rebuilds a bit better. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.